Guys, so this time we're going to read a story called Adventure Balloon. It's a really fun story, so let's dive in. Eloise raced across the hill, panting and giggling. You can't catch me, she yelled. Her little brother Hal was behind her, running as fast as he could. Scruffy, their dog, barked and yapped as he bounded along beside Hal. Suddenly, they saw a big basket sitting at the top of the hill. A huge hot air balloon was attached to it, bobbing around in the breeze. It's beautiful, said Eloise. Let's go for a ride. Hooray, an adventure, said Hal. Come on, Scruffy, let's go. Eloise hopped inside the basket, followed by Scruffy. Hal clambered in and after them, and then, magically, the balloon began to rise into the sky. They floated up among the fluffy white clouds. Birds fluttered around them, twittering with curiosity. The green hills and tall trees seemed small and far away. Scruffy barked and wagged his tail. Where shall we go? Eloise asked to the birds. They cheeped even louder, but the children couldn't understand them. The balloon floated far over the land, and soon they saw a rainbow-colored tent in a green field. The circus, Hal cried, clapping his hands. I want to go to the circus. At once, the balloon floated down from the sky, heading towards the field. As it got closer, Clowns, jugglers, and dancers came out of the tent. Come and join our show, they called out. As soon as the balloon landed, Eloise, Hal, and Scruffy raced inside the tent. It was lit by sparkling stars and colorful balloons floated down to a huge crowd. Let the show begin, cried a clown on stilts. Scruffy did flips and somersaults on the back of a white horse while Hal tiptoed across the tightrope. Eloise stepped onto the circus swings, thinking of the birds that had flown around the balloon. I want to fly like the birds, she whispered. Then she flew from swing to swing in the high roof of the tent, even faster and higher. The crowd went wild. Later, at the end of the show, the top of the circus tent opened like a lid. Everyone looked up. The hot air balloon was floating above them. It's time to go, Eloise told Hal and Scruffy. They climbed into the basket and waved to the crowd and all the circus people below. Then the balloon rose up into the clouds again. Eloise, Hal, and Scruffy clung to the basket tightly as they soared with the birds, bees, and butterflies. Suddenly, the wind died down. Look, said Eloise, peering over the edge of the basket. We're back on the hill again. Gently, the balloon bumped down onto the soft grass, and they all tumbled out. They lay on, the, on their backs, looking up at the blue sky. That was amazing, said Hal. Woof, said Scruffy. What an adventure, said Eloise. She laughed as the balloon seemed to give a little hop of excitement. See, the balloon thinks so too, she added with a giggle. Come on, let's go home. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this amazing adventure story with me. And I will see you again in my next video with another story. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.